Now the next topic is the cumulative damage in fatigue. Now cumulative damage in fatigue means what? That what type of fatigueness which you are getting here. Cumulative damage means is a permanent damage after an alternating stress. If the alternating stress value is increased above the endurance limit, then the cumulative damage can be occurs. Now let's see in certain components that is for mechanical components subject to different stresses level of the work cycle and that can be determined with the help of minor equations now what is minor equation just i am giving you some example here or the theory of minor it has been developed in by ma minor in 1945 and it is used to widely used for cumulative damage models for failure which is caused by the fatigue now what is suggest minor suggest that it's probably the simplest cumulative damage model and it state that if there are k different stresses level and the average number of cycles to failure at the ith stress is si is ni then the damage fraction c can be termed as this so based on this principle we are going to find out the cumulative damage now suppose a component is subjected to a completely reverse stresses having S1 and N1 as the stress and the cycle S2 for N2 cycle and like this. Now N1 be the number of stress cycle before fatigue failure. So if only the alternating stress S1 is acting then one stress cycle will consume only one upon N1 and since there are N1 such cycles at this stress level. So the proper uh, proportionate damage of fatigue life will be what? Yes, 1 upon N1 times N or you can say the small N1 upon the capital N1. So same thing for the S2, N2 by capital N2. Now adding this equation, what we get? This equation, yes. This is what the minor equation, you can see here. Okay, now This is the minor equation as I told you. Now N1, N2, this is the minor equation. N1, N2, the number of cycles at stress level. Now suppose that A1, A2 are the proportion of the total life that will consume by the stress level S1, S2. Then let N1, be N, capital N, be the total life of the component. Then N1 will be what? Alpha times N and N2 is equal to alpha times N. Now substituting these values in minor equation by putting this n1 n2 values here, what we can get? This n1 will become alpha n1, alpha alpha 1 into capital N and alpha 2 into capital N. Capital N will be common. It comes down here. This upon this. So alpha 1 upon n1, alpha 2 upon n2, like this. Also we can say that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 alpha x equal to 1. So with the help of this equation the life of the component subject to different stresses level can be determined so this this is the minor equation which help us to determine the life of a component for different stresses condition okay thank you so sorry one more thing i want to explain that uh, table you can make a table like this which will help you to understand this thing that is the load that is here number of cycles then number of cycle before fatigue life then life consume and the proportion of life that is alpha okay so based on this you can calculate thank you